This is the uh, Molex power tap. This is going to be used on your White Star and Sam Stern games. Now in your game, you have a plug that's going to be hanging down like this. On our wire taps, we make it so when you plug this in, you'll still have an existing plug so you don't lose a plug. The main thing we want to get out of it is this 12 volt. This is a 5.5, 2.1 millimeter plug that's standard in a lot of LED and a lot of other applications. As you see, these plug right into each other. So you're going to be looking for this plug under here, under your shooter rod on the coin door. If you look there, it should be hanging there. If it's not hanging there, it might be tucked up up above and you might have to search for it a little bit. You might have to take off your, your glass and your play field to find it and pull it down, but it's there. Okay, there's with it plugged in and you can see you have the same plug that was there originally so you don't lose a plug, but it gives you the power tap that we need for many of our mods. Here's a quick showing of seven mods that you can use your power tap for. This is a cord that comes with all the mods and this is just going to plug into there and all I'm doing is giving this an uh, extension cord that I can work with. One of our favorite mods is what we call our pin spotlight. Plugs right in there. This is a graphic that is a spotlight and the great thing about this is that it's self focusing and it looks great down at the base of your machine or you put it as a topper or even on the ceiling. Now the next mod that we have that works off a of 12 volt is just this little circuit panel. What this is, is this uh, you take the incoming power and this is a photo sensor that you can plug it anywhere in your game. Your power goes into there. It's going to plug into any of the mods that we show. And uh, as this is a 30 inch piece, and as you can put this next to any light in your game, if there's, uh, and so you can control any of our mods with this photo sensor. We also offer a few e electroluminescent products. These come in pairs, but I only show in one here. First thing we have here is this is a stern hinge. This is a magnetic hinge cover. Goes right on your right on to your hinge with magnets. This is a cutout for your bolt. You see how thin that is? It's paper thin and it installs that easily. The other EL product we have is this is uh, goes in your instruction cards. And we sell the instruction cards that go right over it. And if you pull back, you can see that. Uh, and again, this is paper thin, so it goes right into your slot where your instruction cards go. Another product we have is lighted shooter covers. We have this for many products also. This goes right over where your shooter lane is. You can still see the ball on the bottom. We're going to have this in a uh, silver reflective coating or in a black map that would match the game. Now what's really cool about this is that the sides glow so you get a little bit of light off to the side but it's not going to overpower any other of the light. Now we do a lot of work with uh, speaker panels, lighted speaker panels. This is uh, for Tron. We have about 20 different wood game speaker panels. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, it's full function remote control. You can adjust the color, brightness, everything that you would want. There's off. There's on. This is for the wood panel sterns. We also have the complete selection. Now, all of these are running off of that power tap. And this is the power tap. Uh, same one for the Bally's, Stearns. It's not the same power tap, but it's the same plug. 
This is for uh, the metal sterns. We have this for all the metal sterns. We started doing this with the Bally Williams. And if you ever wanted to see what we call a naked board, this is for WPC games. This is what it looks like. I'll turn that off if you can see it. Uh, that's what it looks like before you install it. And you would use your own plastic. I guess it would help if I had it right side up. You would use your own speaker plastic over that. Now we also have this available. We have uh, panels for the WPC95 games. We're currently working on the panels for the liquid crystal display sterns, and we expect to have D Data East later on this year. <clears throat> Something else that we're very proud of, works off the 12 volt, is speaker lights for Bally Williams games. These are using the stock speakers that come with your game. And they look almost identical. No one else has ever done this before. And of course, all these with the remote have multi-color changing. So that's an example of seven different mods that you can use this tap for. Also, if you wanted to do your own LED strips, you can do that coming off of the tap because that's the standard plug that's used for those. Again, these are all available from Lighted Pinball Mods. Thank you.